I've come along to talk with uh, Graham DeGene today um, about really buses again, but today's news that's been uh, breaking this morning, that the bus station isn't going to go down Victoria Street. Now, I know this wasn't your baby at the time because you inherited this. Uh, you've got a bit of a smile on your face. You're quite pleased it's not going to go ahead. I mean, what, what were your views on it? Um, well, this was something that came as a bit of a surprise to me uh, as, as a backbencher at the time when the proposals came forward uh, regarding this interchange. Um, and I did have concerns at the time about the, the proposal, uh, but when I joined the department, uh, I thought it was right to continue the consultation because you, know, you, you need to hear what the public are saying on these issues. And I think most of the uh, concerns that came back uh, echoed those concerns of mine. And I think we've made the decision now that it's probably not the best place to put uh, an interchange. It may be a good place to put uh, a few more bus stops so you can pick passengers up. But um, as for an interchange, I don't think it's uh, suitable. I mean, I sat at that briefing when the, all these um, radiuses made, you know, circles of this has got to be here because people won't walk any further than that. There seemed to be an awful lot of work done on the proposal. I mean. When I talk to anyone, and obviously you talk to anyone, no one seemed to actually like it at all, the, the general public. And, and I think you know, people did work it up and the officers uh, were working through the, the proposals. And when you look at the limitations that you have to uh, deal with in Douglas, it actually narrows down any proposal where you can put some sort of interchange because Lord Street was ruled out, parts of the promenade were ruled out, distances. Um, but it... You know, if it's not right, it's not right. So I don't think you should go ahead with it. Well, we're looking at some old pictures of the original, well, the, uh, the, the 60s bus station. People have fond memories of it now, but it obviously it, it, it pulled down a long, long time ago. I mean, isn't it going to just end up back there at some point? Isn't that really the end of the day where the bus station has to go? Well, I think there's, there's a number of proposals for that site at the moment. Um, we have to see how they develop. Um, but it all depends on, on the proposals and how they go forward to what we actually do. You know, we could actually start looking at enhancing the proposals there if something on that site doesn't come forward for a, a, you know, a short time. I mean, you must ask questions within your department why that was pushed so heavily when I mean, you didn't like it. A lot of people, as you said, didn't like it. I mean, it must have cost a bit of money to come up with that proposal and to draw the plans up, which seemed to be a, a, a no-show from the start. I mean... Do you have faith in, in your officers that did this? Well, it was, there was, a, it was not just through um, my department. This was through um, uh, DOI and uh, through, I think it was the Douglas uh, Development Partnership to, 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 to look at these areas. And, you know, it was their proposals. And if you don't look at it and, and work up a scheme, you know, some of the businesses may have ag agreed with it and the public may have agreed with it. Um, so if you don't ask, then you'll never find out. What happens now? I mean, it's just gone back in the long grass, hasn't it? Um, I think the one on Victoria Street has gone in, into the long grass, but uh, we will continue to look for somewhere we can actually use as an interchange. It may be in two places rather than a centralised one. You know, you could have a north and a uh, south uh, terminus, you know, but we will continue to look for somewhere. I mean, for the people who day in, day out, and especially in this weather, have to put up with what they have to, which is... Not good, is it? By any state of imagination, really. The, you know, with the wind blowing along the promenade and that sort of thing. What do you say to people like that who have got to put up with this second-rate service of a bus shelter at the minute? Well, we have to deal with the land that we've got available to us. And, and you can't go and say, uh, oh, well, we'll put it there, whatever the cost. Because some of these areas uh, are of a high value if, you, if you're looking to put office or any sort of accommodation there. And uh, we are continuing to look at places to, to position the interchange. So when will you and me sit down and be talking about the next scheme? Well, I think uh, we've got to work through our current bus timetable. Uh, we, we've got an idea where we're going to be going for the next uh, year or so and start working up with the officers and through consultation with the Department of Infrastructure um, and the Douglas Development Corporation uh, to see what we can provide to the public. Give me, uh, give me some sort of timing. I mean, next year, this year, next century. <laughs> I, 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 would, I would hope something within this year that we, sh we should be able to see where we're going. You know, it all depends what sites are available. 
you know, uh, we're very much aware that budgets are being uh, reduced, that, that the money's not there. Um, so it's got to be economic for wherever we go.